Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial. Today we're gonna talk about the point cloud model. How we can get it, what you need for that and why we need that. And I will straight away will answer on the last question. We need that to get really high quality measurements from your site. But as you know, the laser scan is really expensive. Like a Leica, it's 10 plus thousands dollars to get this device. But if you have the latest iPhone or the latest the iPad, you can get the point cloud model without any big problem. And I will show you in this tutorial how you can get the point cloud model. The main thing, we not will get only just model, we will get point cloud model. And I will show you how you can get it. Let's get started. First of all, I did uh, the 3D model by uh, application, which you will find below the video. I will uh, leave the name of this application. And as you can see, here is my 3D scanning, by which I did by iPad. And now we will just uh, transfer our model like a point cloud. Uh, you can see it. Here is the my network of the my model. And this is not pretty uh, nice quality because I was rush anyway. Uh, I want to just make this model. And as you can see, let's um, let's share this model. Here you will find the point cloud. First of all, we will use the high uh, quality. We will zip our uh, model and I will choose the XYZ with the color because I want to get color for the each point. So we want to save color to understand better what's going on. Let's choose the um, XYZ with the color and transfer to the PC. And let me back to the my PC. Here is the my scan file. Let me open up it. And as you can see here, we get our scan file. The thing, the as you can see, the file is X Y Z. So the probably uh, our Revit cannot read this format. So you should use a recap. Also, uh, this is a software from the Autodesk, but anyway, uh, it will help you to transfer data from uh, this type of the file to the another one which Revit can access. So I will open the recap. You can get it from the Autodesk. I think this is going with the IAC collection. So if you have IAC collection, it will be for free, of course. Here, is the, here it is. And what we're gonna do next? Next, we should just transfer our file. Let me will create the new project. We wanna import point cloud. So let me import the point cloud. We're creating the new project. Doesn't matter how it will be. Uh, call it and here we can just drag and drop our file. Let me drag and drop uh, Here we have some pretty simple settings like how many points we want and here text format and here the advanced uh, type It's rotating our model. I already know the it's by practice I already know we should use the app axis. This is will be why when I'm transferring from the application from the iPad not the and I'm changing it to the Y. That's it. I not will change anything yet. A anything else, I mean. Let me will import, import this file. Now this uh, point clouds um, updating. Once it will finish, just let's say index scan. And here we are. We get it's finished. How I know it? You can see it here. 100% is complete. Let me launch this project. And here is our point cloud model. You can say, no, this is not point cloud model, this is uh, just a 3D model. No, let's see it. If you will go closely, you will see each dot have own color and it's pretty nice looking inside. So you can go inside. I already did uh, the measurements by the another tool and we can just, for example, compare it. I will use the distance. I want to measure distance, for example, from this wall to that one, but I want to make it ortho. Let me make the ortho. No, I just want to make the ortho. Why? Because I want to know this will be really straight. And here's the number on the left side and you can see the number on the right side. So as you can see, it's pretty, pretty close, um, which is best check, for example, the floor. And as you can see, here is the distance. Two 
Point seventy seven hundred twenty nine twenty nine. This is much pretty close with the my real model. But okay, we are using the rockup. This is nice. We can measure here. We can use the head, for example, limit block. We can make it smaller, for example. We can clean up our model if we want. But uh, the reason why we are doing all of these things, uh, we want to transfer to the Revit. If you want to save uh, our model like RCP file, so you should just go to the home, save, and the bottom save. And here, let me will save it on the my desktop. And as you can see, after desk recap project file RSP. So this is what we want. And let's save it like RCP file. And let me I will open the Revit. Where is the my Revit? Revit is here. Uh, let's create a new project. Doesn't matter which one. As, as always, this is just. Uh, template from the after desk I'm opening the on the metric one so here it is you should just go to the insert and here the point cloud let's open up it uh, as you know I save it on the my desktop let me find the dot desktop and as you can see new project is here I just save it as you can see and uh, let me position save it on the center to center and say okay just few second and here we are here is my point cloud model how I understand, let me go to the 3D and here is the, as you can see, point cloud model. As you can see, Revit not even the lagging when you're rotating or when you're selecting that. If you know, if you will create like that FBX model and you will try to somehow transfer to the Revit, it will be lagging. But the point cloud is not. So this is the reason you can work with the point cloud. Um, for example, you can go to the level one and you already can start to measure, create your walls and whatever you want. So I already, actually I already did this model. Um, I already created, I will open it here. Give me a second. I already did by, uh, by the point cloud model and it's here. As you can see, I created from this model, I created that one better to show like that so from this one I already created that one it's really nice thing when you want to create for example the some interior things and maybe you will forgot to measure something inside uh, better to show you to inside to in the recap for example you already forgot like distance between um, I don't know between this wall and this wall and here you can um, really easily measure it don't forget uh, you can create this kind of this model only from a new iPhone and from the new iPad because they have lidar if you don't know what is that lidar I have the video about that and you can find it below the video and the link and if you just watch it and you will understand clearly what is that lidar and how it's working In the end, what I want to say, yes, this is really expensive to get the iPad and uh, get the point cloud model and this is not, this is not so quality like a Leica for example, but it's much cheaper. If you, for example, have these devices, this is really much cheaper to get the point cloud model without any big problem. And this is like a new way to get the measurement from your area. For example, you can manually measure your area and after that just get the point cloud model. If, of course, you have some devices like an iPhone or an iPad and you will get like the second type of the data. For example, you forgot something uh, to measure, for example, uh, distance between wall and window. You can always open this model and get some data. And be sure this is data will be really high quality. It's not will be so quality like a laser scan, but it will be quality enough to, for example, interior designers. As a conclusion, I want to say this can be useful, for example, if or of course you have already these devices. If you found this tutorial uh, useful, also don't forget about the likes, comments and share this video. Thank you guys and see you next time.